Provence is a huge wine region. The Côte d'Azur with cities like Nice and Cannes, not so much. There is actually exactly one tiny little wine growing area over here, within the city limits of one of France's largest cities, Le Bellet in Nice. So today we're not only taking you to the most famous winery in Nice, we're also helping with a grape harvest. And we're revealing how Coco Chanel came up with her iconic logo. Yep, there's a direct link to the Chateau de Crema in Nice. As usual, you'll find the exact location and lots more in the description below the film. It's harvest time! The grapes are ripe and just starting to dry, which is the perfect moment to get at them. We're in the hills of Nice, between the sea and the mountains, high above the Va River and the motorway, in the only vineyard with a PDO designation entirely located in a large urban area. Back in the day, the Romans already grew wine right here. A peculiarity of the vines of Chateau de Crema is they are planted on man-made terraces, supported by stone walls called restanques. Une autre spécificité, c'est son sol, c'est le terroir, c'est le poudingue. Et ici, on a une belle caractéristique de ce, de ce terroir-là, qui est composé de galets roulés, d'argile et de sable. Et sur les différents sites de production, on a toutes les nuances. This poor and draining soil is very favorable for the vine. The grapes ripen slowly, which enriches their juice with sugar and preserves their acidic character. So to cut the Grenache, we take the grape, we cut here and we have to be careful with our finger. We cut slowly and we put in the buckets. Time for action then. Today, an early September morning, we're going to harvest the grape variety called Grenache. The grapes at Chateau de Crema are actually harvested by hand. These pictures are not for show. It fits that the winery switched to organic farming in 2014. Today, five grape varieties are cultivated on its 13 hectares of land. When the vines are empty and the buckets are full, we head back to the actual chateau where the processing of the grapes begins. By the way, we've made lots of videos about Nice. See our playlist up there. So, how does this become this? At Chateau de Crema, as at many other wineries in the south of France, you can get a glimpse of what happens behind the scenes. They offer guided tours, a wine tasting included. After Niels has delivered the grapes from the field, he pours them onto the first conveyor belt, crate by crate. We make sure everything is nicely spread out on the belt and pick out stray leaves. The next conveyor belt moves the bunches of the grapes up into a large, jerking silver machine. And out come the green stalks, while the separated grapes are moved up to the next level, where they slide down into the press. From the field to the sweet, delicious grape juice, it takes mere minutes. Cheers! But to mature into a round wine, patience is needed in the barrel. The dark, chilly wine cellar of Chateau de Crema, with its oak barrels for red wine, 
dates back over a century. And part of the old setup is now only decoration. So, what does wine from Chateau de Crema have to do with Coco Chanel? Well, does this logo look familiar? It pops up throughout the visit of what's hidden behind the red walls that might remind you of Place Masséna in the center of Nice. The story Thomas de Richepour tells us about the chateau is pretty fascinating. The impressive building in Neo-Tuscan style dates back to 1906 and its then owner played a major role in redeveloping the Belay vineyard. In the Roaring Twenties, Irene Bretz, a wealthy American, took over the chateau, carried out extensive renovations and hosted sumptuous parties with all the celebrities of the Côte d'Azur, including a certain Coco Chanel. Legend has it that she was inspired by the initials of Château de Crema, two intertwined seas, to create the logo of her fashion house. The chateau has seen several more owners over the decades. The current one, a family of French industrialists, renovated the rooms to recreate the Roaring Twenties, using furniture from the Ritz Hotel in Paris, purchased at auction, including pieces from the Coco Chanel suite. Ready to taste some wine from Chateau de Crema? They produce reds, whites and rosés, which are said to be complex, fine wines. You can just show up in the boutique at the entrance of the property for a tasting. Or you could do a full tour of the chateau like we did. See the description below the film for more information. If you're into wine, we made several videos about Provencal villages this summer. And most of the time we also did a wine tasting. Why don't you have a look?